Tell us about your your pitch meeting for the show. We we started working in, in New York. We were right. on David Letterman, and then we came out here to write. We wanted to write sitcoms, and we wanted like that was that was kind of the the the, the thing that we wanted to try. And we we worked on a show called Oliver Bean for a couple years. Called for applause. Called for applause. <laughs> it was a good show. Oh, you know, it was, it was a good show. Yeah, but it, no one saw it. <laughs> uh, but. Um, then we that through that we sort of we got a uh, uh, development deal at 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 20th Century Fox, and um, they kind of they wanted to hear, you know they they wanted to hear what we had they wanted right. to hear pitches and so we uh, we pit, we had two things to pitch and we we ended up actually which was which was very cool selling both of them it actually uh, and the first one was all right we sat down we were like all right let's write a sitcom, and it was all right there's this. Uh, there's this uh, accountant. Robot. There's this accountant for Enron, <laughs> and he gets uh, he gets sentenced by the judge to go teach in the inner city, and he has to teach these kids, and the kids are he's learning from the kids, and the kids are learning from him, and uh, that one they loved it, and uh, it was terrible. <laughs> it, was, it was like exactly like the show that you pit, and it was it was very much like what's a sitcom? Well, this is a sitcom, yeah. and then but then over here on the side, the the much less bankable idea really right. was let's uh, right I, I it was it was I'm single I'm still you know I, I I'm, I'm reaching that turning point where maybe I'm ready to settle down with someone Craig and Rebecca had just gotten married uh, a couple years ago and were sort of the dealing with being kind of the the old I mean you guys were married before everyone else kind of like it was sort of yeah you, you, we you met were, in freshman year of Wesleyan uh, yeah. and yeah we're like old married couple by our mid 20s <laughs> yeah. Yeah. we've been together a long time uh, and, and Hence even, Marshall and Lily yeah but even beyond it being just that premise it was just let's write a show that's just our lives and just mm -hmm. stuff that we and and we we were two years away from living in New York by this point and like those, the the first five years after school, we lived in New York, and it was the best five years ever, and we had so much fun, and we totally missed New York, and we were like, let's do a show that's set in New York, uh -huh. about us, about our lives, and uh, that was uh, that was kind of the small personal thing that we didn't think anyone would care about, but because it was too much like Friends or whatever, yeah, right. and uh, that uh, yeah, we, we 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 pitched them both, the one just went away, and then this one. We pitched to uh, we pitched to every network, and like I think like the WB was kind of interested. Maybe I, I, I don't know. Like I'm trying to remember. Like yeah, it was, it was just WB, and then our last pitch was to CBS, the home of King of Queens. Like it wasn't. Well, it didn't seem right for them. We were convinced that it would it would never ever go there. So convinced, in fact, that we drank I think at least two or three beers before the pitch meeting yeah. <laughs> when we went there, which is maybe why we were loose. I don't know. Yeah, we went in there and pitched it, and we were pitching our lives. You know, yeah. we were pitching my wife and I and Carter, right. and then a couple of friends like you know that we loosely based Barney on a couple of friends in New York. And uh, we we were absolutely convinced it yeah. wouldn't go there. And in the in the middle of pitching, and it was it, and, and and CBS like everyone warned us ahead of time. CBS they're famous for just stone faced. They're gonna hate it. It's yeah. gonna seem like they hate it. Right. If they like it, it'll seem like they hate it. If they hate it, it'll really seem like they hate it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, so we were ready. For, yeah, we were ready for failure. Uh, and we were like, yeah, this this one doesn't matter. And then it's just they they loved it. They were laughing. They 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 said to us to our faces, we're buying this, we're doing this. Wow. Which no one, no writer I've ever met since believes that that happened. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. has gone into that room and pitched in that room. And uh I you know, it was it was absolutely right right what you know. Yeah. That's why it worked. That's great. And it was very like we not knowing that like our timing was cuz like they basically, like Les Moonves, had conquered the world and was just, yeah. th like, they were, the only thing that they, that CBS didn't kind of have a niche in was, was 18 to 34. Like, that was, yeah. like, they had, they had, like, every, everyone on Earth above 35 is watching Everybody Loves Raymond and, and, and whatever, and, and, but they were like, we need a young show, and I think that, had been mentioned in a meeting like that morning. That morning, <laughs> and, then, and then we walk in the like we walked in looking fifteen years old. Hello, we have this idea. Yeah. Sold. <laughs> you look young. I got a pinky, pinky, and I call.